Nets did a great job of moving those guys who were congested under the basket, not enabling them to get that basket. Nice steal by Kidd. Shoves it down court to Kittles. In the pierce. The foul, and he can't get the two. Jason Kidd is amazing. You know, he's not even sweating out there right now. I mean, he just comes off the pick and roll, sees the trap, just waits patiently. And there's Aaron Williams for the dunk. You and must, then the great steal. You must have loved coaching that guy. Oh, man. I love watching this guy play every time. It's just, the game's easy. Paul Pierce picks up his first foul. <laughs> All 12 New Jersey points this quarter have come from the bench, which is interesting. Aaron Williams has put in eight, and Lucius Harris has put in four. The backcourt of New Jersey, the starting backcourt, no points until that first point right there by Kerry Kittles. To very difficult in a horse game. Does he practice those in Danny away from the regular games? He does. He's got one of the most unorthodox games. You know, I mean, there's nobody that I know that's like Jason Kidd. There's a steal, another turnover. Kittles against Walker. And just like that, Boston's lead is down to a point. Boy, you talk you talk about terrible defense on the part of the Nets. I mean, they're breaking down inside, too. Do you think these guys respect Paul Pierce? Look at this. He's running at the hash mark. They just go and trap him. Kerry Kittles, very good job of being active with his hands. You see how fast no, Kittles single is. player in the NBA attempted and made more free throws this season than Paul Pierce. No, and that's a very smart sign on his part, too, because of the fact that not only is he just heaping up threes, he's baiting people, he's penetrating. He understands that you've got to get some numbers from him. Finally, Kittles got one from outside. 45% shooting for New Jersey. Boston shooting 53% from the field. I like the confidence in Kittle in which Kittles is shooting. Scott said they want the center to be more active and involved. And the center's typically on the weak side block. That time the center was out at the top of the key. Jason Collins way out of position to help Paul Pierce on the drive. And here is Collins out there with Kittles, Jefferson, Martin, and Kidd. It's Kerry Kittles for three. And for New Jersey, just their third three-point hit in this game. No, and that's what they have to do. They have to make baskets, extend their pressure, try to force the turbo so a little bit. that's one question I had going into the series. Kerry Kittles is so much lighter than Paul Pearson. We saw how he exploited him on the post on that last possession. And why is it Richard Jefferson? Can Richard Jefferson not defend Paul Pierce better with his strength of body? Here's Kittles launching a three again. And Kerry Kittles has come out red hot to begin the second half with a New Jersey high 12. And the Nets have their biggest lead tonight of seven over Boston. For a guy that likes to dominate the ball the way Jason Kidd does, he releases it very fast. And that's one of the reasons why guys so don't want right there. on the steamroll as New Jersey has started the second half four of four. And I don't know why they don't go at Martin. Right here, they're going to try to post him up. There's the double team coming. But Martin does not want a foul. It's Kidd. And Kittles for three. Curry Kittles is a flamethrower. And he has sparked New Jersey to their biggest lead tonight. Curry Kittles is huge for this team. He's coming up big to start the second half. What'd you tell him before the game, Danny? I told him to think like an ISTP brain type. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what? Fearless. And he's been fearless so far. And the Nets on top by 10. Heck of a shot, a little teardrop, a little half arm looper there. A chicken wing looper. One point game. <laughs> Rogers. And the McCarty no call. Dump trying to knock it away. He's feeding the kids. McCarty is called for the foul. That is the second half Walter McCarty from Kentucky. And Walter McCarty is not very good at that. Delk is a better spot up shooter than he is off the dribble, but that was a spectacular play. And you can have good ball movement when four guys run after Paul Pierce. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like they do with Tim Duncan. Exactly. And, and like they do with Shaq. <laughs> Kittles in the playoffs, 9 of 10 from the free throw line. It goes in the first round as well. And a good play by Kerry Kittles right there of moving without the ball to get that free throw line. Bad foul by Walter McCarty. You can't bail him out. I don't think he had anywhere to go in there. Lonnie Dale, special thanks to Dennis Stone. And now for Cheryl Miller, Danny Ainge, and John Thompson. One point game. And New Jersey is shooting well below that of the Celtics. A steal. Here come the Nets shooting 39%. Martin spoon feeds Jefferson out to Kittles. And New 
Jersey reclaims the lead 41 to 40. Celtics need to take care of this ball. Obviously, the Nets sense the fact that by pressuring them and trapping them, they force them to make decisions a lot faster. And I don't think the Celtics are a great ball handling team. Now, New Jersey has shifted gears and they're back in business. Well, they put in their turbo man, Jason Kidd. They shifted into the fifth gear, put him on the court. You're watching the NBA playoffs on TNT. All right, so New Jersey guys fights back from a pretty good sized deficit in that first half. Single digit, but at one time eight points. And uh, here they are back in the game and on top, 51 45. Well, and it starts with the fast break, and it starts with Jason Kidd, the igniter of the fast break, the quarterback of the team. Too many easy baskets, only four first half. Uh, first quarter points off of turnovers, 12 in the second quarter. Well, he's really got his number defensively. Well, because one of the things that Martin does, he's a very confrontational, strategically so player. I think he's under control now, and he's very smart. He gets your attention. Kittles for two. You may recall in game one when he launched and buried three threes to begin that third quarter. And you always like to see Kerry Kittles come out and be aggressive and assert himself offensively. A lot of times he allows himself to get lost in the offense. Well, because of the depth of the nets, you got to be careful about fatigue setting into Boston also. They seem to be relying an awful lot right now. Paul Pierce with every possession. Collins vacuums it in. Here comes Kidd with options on both sides, including Kittles for three. Kerry Kittles has found his stroke. He is battling a sinus infection. Is Kittles. He struggled with it more on Monday. He said he was better tonight. He's got 10. And the New Jersey Nets have gone five of six, shooting three-point shots tonight, including Kittle's deployment right there. New Jersey's on an 8-0 run, and they've got a 67-55 lead. You're watching the Eastern Conference semifinals on TNT. Whether it's a rebound, whether it's a loose ball, they just take off. Like the crowd is awakened. Kittles for two. Kittles has 12, and New Jersey leads it by 16. He's got seven in the quarter. He's authored 12 for the game. Another horrible performance from Walker as Kidd comes charging the other way. Jefferson did a great job of stopping Paul Pierce from getting the ball that possession, which forced Walker to shoot. Five-point game, Kidd into McCarty, bounces off him, open. It's Kittles. And a timeout taken by Boston as the Nets have built their lead back to eight. Perry Kittles has been terrific in the second halves of both these first two games in the Eastern Conference Final. And big shots. Kerry's not putting up a lot of numbers because he's the fourth or fifth option on the offense, but the timing of his shots is enormous. Good no-look pass by Kevin. Just drew Paul Pierce, so he just couldn't get there to contest. They struggle with the three-point shooting, which is such a, a big weapon for them. <laughs> and here we go with Tony McTee. A party picked up by Jefferson. Jeff Van Gundy, what are you looking for early from Boston? I want to see him go right to the basket like they did with Walker. He got a good look. He just missed it. He's going to have to convert those for them to win tonight. And a three by Kerry Kittles gives the Nets an early lead. Well, that didn't look good. The Celtics have to get back because you know coming into the ball game that the Nets are going to push it down the floor. Kittles looking inside. Collins tipped away by Boston's defense. Antoine Walker. Tony down for three. Collins with the rebound. And Kidd again, hounded by Depp. Flashes a pass down the lane. Cut by Kittles and a foul. Coming for two. What I don't understand with Boston, they know they've got to get back, but they are jogging. You need five guys to sprint, talk, and communicate. Well, and they also don't, don't identify. When they come back, nobody is even watching Kittles come in. You're running back to the spots, but you've got to do like you're doing great. So you got to point and identify and talk and say who you have. Tony Petit picks up his first foul, and here's Kittles missing the possible three-point play with the Nets on top by two. It's amazing how one phase of the game is contagious and has an effect on the other. They start to play offense better. As a result, defensively, the Celtics get better. Look at Kenyon Martin defend Antoine Walker. It's Kittles from Kidd. We lost it as he went skyward against Paul Pierce. It's turnover number 11 
for the Boston Celtics. We've talked all series long about the defense of Kenyon Martin on Antoine Walker. Well, and you watch his physicalness, too. One of the things he's doing is trying to keep Walker outside, not letting him go inside, and then reacts and get a hand on him. Make some pain. Tony Delk just picked up his second foul as you take a look at Pierce coming off a triple-double Wednesday in New Jersey. When we see Kenyon Martin play great one-on-one -on -one defense like that, it amazes me that the coaches did not see fit to put him on either the first or second team all-defensive team. There's not better defenders than Kenyon Martin one-on-one. -on -one. There are two Lakers on the first two teams, though. Well, they didn't defend at all this year, so I don't know. That's saying those other guys really stink defensively because if Kobe was first team and Shaq was second team and they played no defense all year, those other three got to take a big hit on that. Those are the setup questions. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Walker's pointing at Kenny Martin. He's got to run to him. I hate that in transition. You take mine. I'm not going to make the effort to run back. Everybody's got to have that commitment to run back. Kittle's going inside. He was met by Delk and Batie. And the T picks up his third foul. A great point guard like Jason Kidd, he's going to find the open man. Well, the thing that the Celtics have constantly done is they emphasize getting back, but they're not recognizing where the immediate danger. You stop the ball, you fan out, you pick up people. In transition defense, you don't have the luxury of picking up the man you are assigned to. You have to pick up dangers. New Jersey has their biggest lead tonight. Back into the hands of Kittles, and there is Kidd, a two-point attempt, and the rebound. Taken down by Walter McCarty, nearly stripped away, and a bad turnover by the Celtics, as if there were any good ones. And Kittles sets the three and hits Terry Kittles. And when you talk about what the Nets have done, also overshadowed has been his three-point shooting. When you make a turnover in transition, oftentimes it leads to a basket back against you in transition. And there, Walter McCarty was caught with the ball in the middle of the floor. He should have made sure that Walker or Del Candle in the middle of the floor. Celtics on a 7-0 run. Here with three minutes to go in the first as Delk misses from the perimeter. And here come the Nets trailing 21-15. Kittles is trapped. But the Celtics have tightened up that defense, Jeff, no question about it. And a good three from the two-pointer from the corner by Kittles. In earlier games, that push on the break would have led to a layup. There, Brown did a great job of stopping the penetration by Kittles, and then Kittles was forced to take an 18-foot jump shot. Jim O'Brien going to the more veteran Bimbo Coles instead of staying with Brimmer. Brimmer was just clearly overmatched on the floor. Coles in his 13th year from Virginia Tech, and the Pierce dribbles it off his foot. Terry Kittles comes back with the slam, and the Nets are up 66 60 Four. And again, that's Paul Pierce's sixth turnover in this game. They forced the switch and should have just gone right to Antoine Walker after the pick and roll was switched for an easy basket. Walker inside is fouled as Blunt tried to defend him and get a piece of the ball. Here, Pierce had forced a switch. You see Walker having inside position on Kittles, tried to do a little too much. He can beat Martin off the dribble, but the better play there, continue to post Antoine Walker against the smaller Kerry Kittle. A huge comeback in this one. And the Celtics have their biggest lead of the game, eight now, 86 to 78. Winding the four minutes remaining. Here is Jefferson beating Kittles. Pretty play by Kerry Kittle. Great dish by Jefferson, and Boston's got to do a better job against Jefferson, keeping him out of the middle of the floor on his dribble drive penetration. Celtics by 89-88. Under a minute. And Kittles going in the corner to Jefferson, trapped there. Kittles. Defended by McCarty, four on the shot clock now. And here is Jefferson with Pierce in his face. And the follow-up is good by Kittles. Just as the buzzer sounded. Great Jerry defense Kittles. by the Celtics. Didn't finish it off with the rebound. Let's lead by one. Under a half a minute to go. Lower leg injury, whether it's cramped or the injury from last night, somebody else is going to have to step forward and make plays like Williams just did. It's a uh, war of attrition right now for the Celtics. 
And uh, there is Kittles hitting a big three from the corner. Kittles has he has had in the Milwaukee series earlier in this one and again right now hitting the big threes and the Nets are up by a trio. 345 to go in the second overtime. That is the first three-point basket since the second quarter for the Jersey.